about two beads all along that edge and we better get the collar on. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, managed to set the bait board up in the boat as a tripod. Got some lighting, so um, yeah, just gonna crack. It's not a tuatara, it's um, it's actually a berry cider that I brewed up, and that was from some apples from my tree, so that was cool. And then Ala, um, not much of a hiss, hiss on there, um, Ala Grant Baker's turbo cider. I added, um, yeah, you can definitely smell that. Added in some berries, so I got some frozen berries that were um, taking up room in the fridge. Or the freezer, I should say. And um, yeah, brewed up this berry cider. I haven't tried this for about two months. Um, last time I remember it being a bit more carbonated than my apple cider. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to calculate carbonation when you don't know how much... Um, oh, there's a few greebers in there. When you don't know how much um, sugar is actually in it. So anyway, um, happy homebrew Wednesday. It's a slightly shonky um, berry cider. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. Um, definitely the berries. And I use a lot of um, cooking apples, so it's quite tart. But I end up back sweetening with some of the uh, lactic, lactic acid. No, um, lactose. So, yeah, I, I back sweeten it, and it's not so not so tart as it was when I first tried it out of the fermenter. Anyway, um, enough rambling about cider. Um, we're all here for the brew day, so did a pilsner because it's school holidays finally. So I managed to bash out uh, pilsner. Um, you see from the video, not too many dramas except for a boil over, and um, yeah, tried my uh, stout, and that it was tasting really good. Um, Happy with that, quite a dry finish, but uh, yeah. Alright, cheers for tuning in, and um, catch you next week. That's good. Pity about the floaters that I poured into it. Anyway, that's what you get with homebrew, bottle condition, sediment, slancher. So, there's our stout, and um, not that you can see it there, but... Um, that finished out at 108, so a um, little bit higher than I thought, but uh, it was it was mashed sort of all over the place. So um, yeah, had a quick little sample, and it definitely tastes like a stout. So pretty happy with that. Bit of a dry finish, but um, yeah, don't know. We'll see. So here's something I didn't show you last week. Uh, you might have if you've been following my channel. You might have seen that I burnt out one of my elements, the one in the HLT. So what I've done is I've made up a street elbow and a big long hose barb and this piece is going to sit in my HLT and um, the water will be, well this barb will be higher than the very top of the element. So that way hopefully I can stop dry frying my element and cost me another 50 bucks to get a hot water element. So there's that barb and elbow in position. Um, it's still loose. Normally I'd have that pointed up um, above that element there, but uh, one of the other advantages is once I know the element's turned off, um, this has got a snug fit, I can turn it down right to the bottom of the pot and it will siphon uh, virtually all of that water out of there. So yeah. Um, it's a good little hack, happy with that. So I've just done my water additions, bearing in mind I'm on tank water, so rain water. It's been raining hard, uh, pretty neutral kind of water. And I've just added in magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, and a bit of baking soda. And what I've done is I have, um, Calculate on Brewer's Friend and I'll split the batch up half in my extra water and the other half will be in my HLT so that um, yeah I should be in line with 
my volume and ratios. We have um, some Pilsner malt, we have some acid malt, and we have some Gladfields Gladiator, which is um, pretty much Carapils. Uh, I think that's all we got. All right, about 75, so time to... Well, that was fortuitous. Neighbor just came over, knocked on the door. Um, can you help us out of the ditch? I went to help, but then um, some local with a four-wheel drive came around, so crisis averted, and my mash is at the right temp there. So despite that little delay, um, we're at medium body, just over. Um, I might start recirking that, because I really want to do this lager a bit drier. So we're just going to put um, a little bit more acid malt, or Gladfield sour grapes malt. And hopefully that'll reduce our pH down. It's um, sitting about 5.5 at the moment, but we'll try and get that under 5.5 if we can. Um, that'll be the first time I've been able to get it under 5.5 if I can do it. If you didn't get it on video, it didn't happen. 5.4. I put in 100 grams of this Gladfield sour grapes acid malt. 100 grams equals 0.1 of a pH lower. So. Um, that's the conclusion I've got too, so. While I'm uh, having a sparge, I thought um, I'd have one. Uh, this is the supercharger. This one's for Strap Beer. He's one of my first subscribers, and um, yeah, only chatted um, once or twice, a couple of comments, but um, good on you, pal, and. Um, yeah, cheers to the BrewTube community. So, trying to cook dinner and um, boil a pilsa. Not a good mix, had a bit of a boil over there, but uh, no dramas, we'll give that a wipe down. First top edition, 60 minutes, and I've got 30 grams of SARS. 7 a bit of a cheeky taste of that stout. Anyway, in goes our 30 minute hop edition. It is... 20 grams of Mochueka, just using up some that I had. So yeah, get a few New Zealand hops in there. Green goodness. All right, in goes our 15 minute hop drop of SARS. And of course we've got our nutrients and some Irish moss going in there. Just thought I'd actually give you an idea. Last time it was kind of hard to make out, but um, you can see I'm sort of like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And so we're looking at probably a degree every three seconds. Of course, that's different if you're an American, but um, I don't understand you goddamn Fahrenheit. But anyway, she's chilling. Drop that down from the boil. And the best part of... Um, couple of minutes so yeah if you want to have a go at making one of those counterflow chillers I suggest you look at um, Paul Wicksteed's time for another one he's got a great counterflow wart chiller video um, I might do one but um, why bother when there's already a good one out there <laughs>